Welcome to Feast and Farm Cooks. My name is Rachel Ballard and today we are making fried green tomatoes. Could not be easier to do. You'll be amazed how simple it really is. Um, now I know a few people ask, you know, what kind of tomatoes can I use for this? And the answer is, if it's a spring or you know, an early summer garden tomato that hasn't turned red, it does not matter what variety it is, anything will work here. So, and don't be confused by the little green tomatillos in the grocery store. Sometimes people think that those are green tomatoes. They're not, you actually need a green tomato. So hit up your neighbors, find a gardener, go to a farmer's market. You'll be able to find some near you somewhere. Here's what you need to make them, very, very easy. I have um, self-rising cornmeal mix and flour here. Now you can simply use all-purpose flour and cornmeal, equal parts, that works just fine. Some buttermilk, can you swap it for something else? I mean, maybe some milk, but buttermilk is really what I recommend here. Some salt <clears throat> and some green tomatoes. So these came out of my garden and I'm just gonna do a few for you. And I also have heating in my cast iron skillet, just a little bit of oil. You don't need to deep fry these. It's just a light fry on each side. So I have just a little bit of oil in my skillet over here. Now I'm gonna start by putting some salt in my cornmeal. And I wanna make sure that it's well seasoned because this is really one of the few chances you're gonna to get to get that seasoning on the tomatoes. So it's really, it's really nice to make sure you get it in there. You can add a little pepper in there too if you'd like. You can also add a little bit of hot sauce to your buttermilk. I like the little bit of the additional vinegar tying in there. It's really, really good, but I don't have it out here for us today, so that's okay. So what you're gonna do in order to bread these, you're gonna go into the cornmeal first. Your hands are your best kitchen tool. Don't be afraid to use them. So we're gonna go in there and then we're gonna lightly just kind of shake off any extra. Then we're gonna go into our milk, and I will use my fork so I don't get too gummy for you guys. Into the milk, shake that off just a little bit, and then go into the cornmeal again. Press that down, don't be afraid. When you're breading you know, anything to fry, press it on there. You want that breading to stick, so don't be afraid to press it. Shake off any extra, and then I'm gonna set them aside for just a minute while I finish making the rest of them, and then we'll get them fried up. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get ready to fry. Now, I have my tomatoes all ready to go over here and they've been sitting for a second. That just really helps the, the crust to, to stick a little bit better if you let them sit for a couple of minutes before you put them in the skillet. And then I'm gonna put this guy, he's about a half an inch thick. I'm just gonna set him in there and adjust my heat as necessary. So you just want to, you know, get the outside crispy and get the insides a little bit soft. You're not really looking to cook it down a tremendous amount or anything like that. So we're just gonna put a couple of these in the skillet. My mom always did hers really thin, like almost see-through thin, so they were done really, really quickly. You could just hold them up and look right through them. I like mine a little bit thicker, so it's up to you. It doesn't matter. There's no rule about how they have to look, um, just whatever suits you. So I'm gonna cook these until they're golden brown on each side and then I'm gonna transfer them to a paper towel lined plate to drain just a little bit and I'll be back to show you what they look like and we'll get a taste. Okay, our fried green tomatoes are all fried up and we need a taste because it would not be right to not have a taste. They're so golden brown. They are crispy on the outside. They're a little bit soft in the middle. I'm just gonna take this guy right here. I'm gonna cut him up knife and fork because they're plenty big for that, so now. Before I take this bite, let me remind you, don't forget to subscribe. I love having you with me here at Feast and Farm and you're not going to miss anything that we have coming up. This is hot. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you like your fried green tomatoes. I like mine on a BLT with some bacon, big sandwich, it's delicious. I can't wait to see how you make these delicious in your own kitchen. I'll see you again soon, bye-bye. Mmm, oh man, this is so good.